Welcome, welcome to Fool's Brawl, the local comedy roast battle show with, you know, clowns. They're fools and they fight each other. That's the brawl. <laughs> and then Fool's Brawl kind of sounds like Fool's Ball, Foosball, and that's the sports theme. They probably explained this on the first episode. I'm very notably not Brianna Calhorn. Uh, your regular host didn't make it out tonight, uh, so unfortunately you do not have your anime-eyed ingenue. Uh, I'm Will Doherty. Sorry. Uh, 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 thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to have some amazing battles. Before we get started, we should introduce your hosting panel, hosting panel, judging panel tonight. Uh, your first uh, uh, member, uh, bringing down the hammer, uh, does have 150 followers on his Twitch channel, which does make him the one who's closest out of anyone here to an actual career in the entertainment industry. <laughs> it's Xavier Smith! Uh, your next judge, in addition to being a stalwart member of the Omaha comedy community, uh, is an incredible photographer, which may make him the one who's actually the closest to having a career in the entertainment industry. It's James Dean. And finally, your last comedian is a regular at the Funny Bone Comedy Club right here in Omaha. And I'm going to convince myself that that doesn't make him the one who's closest to having a career <laughs> in the entertainment industry. It's Noe Ramirez. <laughs> now let's welcome to the stage our first battlers we have. Cole Sicta! Cole Sicta to the stage! All right, and your opponent in round one, David Kausgard. Fight! Uh, I didn't, she didn't tell me how to decide who goes first. Uh, which one of you considers yourselves whiter? <laughs> Very clearly, man. Okay. Very clearly. Uh, so Cole is a former member of the Mormon Church, uh, which is surprising because out of the two of us up here, who would you have guessed to be a former member of the Mormon Church? <laughs> Me or the girl who looks like she hasn't found a bathroom she wouldn't do cocaine in? <laughs> David acknowledges that he looks Mormon. Thank you for helping my joke. Um, however, Mormons believe that they're getting their own kingdom when they go to heaven, and even they are not as smug as David Kausgard. <laughs> uh, Cole has a gaggle of kids, uh, six of them to be precise, but she'd probably only have two or three if she had gaggled a little more. <laughs> Uh, so the Fallout mascot, Vault Boy, you know, <laughs> reminds me of David Kausgard, which is fitting because he also seems like someone who's lived most of his life underground. <laughs> uh, in a recent Facebook post, Cole called herself a comedian's comedian, uh, which is a bold claim because typically other comedians have to like you to be considered a comedian. <laughs> comedian. Uh, David has a joke about how he's statistically more likely to be a serial killer than be a victim of a serial killer. And I'm just saying Louis C.K. joked about forcing people to watch him masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> before he was caught forcing people to watch him masturbate. Fuck, that's a good one. 
That's three rounds, right? Yes. Okay. I, I would like to point out, apparently there are two different comedians who felt like it's been long enough since the Louis C.K. thing to just go back to wearing black t-shirts. <laughs> Judges, do we have opinions? Damn, I don't know. I mean, you kind of fucked him up with that Louis C.K. joke. <laughs> yeah. put, put his ass in the dirt. <laughs> I uh, six kids really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So now who seems more Mormon? Yeah. <laughs> Fitting. Right? Don't y'all have a lot of kids? Yeah, that's no. how you get the kingdom in heaven. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Who you have to live in poverty on earth to get a kingdom in heaven. <laughs> um Gaggle was good. Gaggle got me. That was, that was a good one. So good. Got me too. Uh, <laughs> six times. <laughs> yeah, the Louis C.K. joke is definitely what changed my opinion. Oh. That that car that carried for sure. But you came you came out the gates swinging. The 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 Mormon joke was good. Uh, Everybody loves a little self de 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 deprecation. That one. Yeah, that one. No, yeah, that one. That's okay. Yeah. We can edit that out. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Just... We can. We won't. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, leave that in there. <laughs> this is what you can expect with my twist. Uh, <laughs> this and Valorant? <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft. Ah. Yeah, that was a close one. That was that's tough. Um, okay, we, we we've, we've deliberated. I think it's time uh, uh, to do the important thing in a democracy and vote. Uh, let's start at the far end. Hey, this is the first time I've been allowed to do that. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> being a felon doesn't stop you from voting here. Hey now, um, I was pretty close. Uh, I, I slightly, I'm gonna go with David. One for Cow's Guard. Very close. I was close, but the Louis C.K. joke uh, really flipped things over. So, Cole. One for Cole. Pressure's on. Oh, deciding factor. Yeah, Cole's joke carried. That was for sure. The Louis C.K. joke was what sent me over. So, Cole has my vote as well. Victory for Cole. <laughs> And a very polite golf clap <laughs> from nice young man, David Kausgard. I'm a gracious loser. <laughs> I assume you'd have had to be by now. <laughs> Nobody got into comedy because we were too popular. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Round two. Woo! <laughs> Round two comedians are Tyler Walsh. Tyler Walsh to the stage. And his opponent, Richie B. Okay, once again, uh, I was not informed of how to uh, decide who goes first. So, which of you two consider your yourselves whiter? <laughs> <laughs> I like that Tyler's I, not raising his hand. <laughs> I don't know, man. You do got a ball hog. A close call. And that shirt out of context. I don't know, man. <laughs> I do. <laughs> he kind of looks like he's trying to prove that black people live in trailer parks, too. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'll let Tyler go first. <laughs> Look, I went. Look at that that was one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that was one? Yeah, he just ninja'd one on you. Yeah. He just started. Boom. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> but he's even on. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, stuff. Tyler's a former rodeo clown for 10 years. Now he's a comic. It's not often that someone takes a huge step back in their careers. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know if it is that uncommon. It's been a rough economy out there. For <laughs> Uh, Richie is black, but instead of menthols having a strong hold on his life, he prefers the cooling uh, mint of a peppermint patty. <laughs> Here's my black side. What is a peppermint patty? <laughs> <laughs> Your fat side will enjoy it. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, he got me. Oh, God. Let's see. Tyler Walsh looks like the type of guy that goes to a Juneteenth parade and says, who let out all the farm equipment? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that was an incredibly dark turn. I like it. Uh, Richie has a Ziploc baggie of saltwater taffies <laughs> in his pocket right now that he's just been snacking on. And not like a bag that he bought at the store of saltwater taffies. It was like a giant five-pound bag that he then divvied out into Ziploc bags. <laughs> yeah, that's a man that knows what he wants. I just want him to have proof, guys. That's all. <laughs> Another white if person accused If he one of those in chocolate, it would almost be like a peppermint patty. Oh, okay. Good, good. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a debate going on if a woman would choose a bear or a man. A lot of women are choosing the bear, but I would too if I saw Tyler, the autistic Sasquatch coming out of the woods too. <laughs> uh, Richie works at a restaurant in the kitchen and me and my girlfriend visited there recently and it smells like a Planet Fitness in there when he's on shift. <laughs> There's just tons of sweating and cussing. Servers running out covered in athlete's foot and ringworm. Talk about the restaurant I work at like that. <laughs> Do not say the name. It's a good restaurant. It's a great restaurant. It's a restaurant. He knows where I work. We really enjoyed our meal. Those are the type of places to go. Somebody else is about to lose ground in their career. <laughs> Don't worry, it's full of white people. I'm safe. I'm safe. Uh. <laughs> I think that's three, isn't it? You are? Well, no, was that three or was that? Or I don't know if he went first or not. That's why I was asking. He did go first. I think okay. that was three. I mean, Keep I shooting him. <laughs> if you got him, let's go. Uh, okay. Not only is Tyler a former rodeo clown, he's also an actor. You can see him as a stunt double up in the upcoming Brokeback Mountain movie. <laughs> <laughs> and so one more joke or what? That's, uh, that was well, you, if you, you started, you ninja one in, that means yeah. he ends it. So I think we're done. Oh, you got okay. one more? I'll sure. let you take a free one if you want. No, There's no, no rules. Uh, <laughs> I'll try this one. Richie's last name is Belgrave. Uh, that's the thing that's going to ring when he dies soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From the camp. <laughs> <laughs> From all that salt water all camping. Right. Salt water all right, uh, uh, I'm not the judge, but I'm going to say uh, minus one point for not worth it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Judges, now it's time for you to start rendering the real opinions. You can start this time. Okay. Um, you got to do it twice. Go yeah. first twice. I think this was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Tyler had it. I think Tyler had it, especially with the confusion over peppermint patties. I, for some, <laughs> for some reason, that like clinches. It I was me. also very confused by that. To be fair, Pe is peppermint patty not the lesbian from Snoopy? There's two. There's the. It's a, it's a, it's a snack, right? It's a round chocolate-covered right? mint. Klondike bar. <laughs> no, there is oh, both. There, there is a peppermint patty. Absolutely. Right? Yes. Okay, Christ. Are we talking about Thin Mints? <laughs> no, oh, no. It, they taste like Thin Mints. I can see okay. why. But can they're chewy. A, this in? might be like the Shazam Kazam movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we? Oh, no. We're from we're different universes. Universe. <laughs> yeah. I can see how you're saying, like, how you would consider me debatably black because I know what that is. <laughs> You're going to have saltwater taffy, but not know what a peppermint patty is. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're on TV, so I can't tell you where I got those from. <laughs> <laughs> and that we're both plus-size gentlemen. You have no idea? That's crazy. Gentlemen. Anyway, 
Uh, oh, York peppermint patties. Get the sensation. Sure, I've seen that. <laughs> the chocolate oh, now. Dog. You went from not knowing them to knowing the slogan. The slogan? To knowing that, that's crazy. He switched universes. Wow. Okay. I want a clip of all the fat guys talking about candy for a second. <laughs> so a Reese's peanut butter cup. No. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I, I, it feels like uh, it feels like the consensus has been drawn, but I think we got to do it official. So let's start on this end this time. I'm gonna have to go with Tyler. He kind of fumbled in the beginning. I did. So. Tyler. All right, we got a clean sweep for Tyler Walsh. Hey, can I still be on your show? Uh <laughs> Well, bring peppermint patties. <laughs> I will bring some. I actually uh, one now. Well, I'm They're sure good. that whatever ill will uh, was built up can be negated with a large enough bag of candy. Uh, all right, let's get on to our final battle tonight. Uh, are we all here for it? <laughs> <laughs> that was the most tepid nonsense I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm not even giving you another chance. You don't deserve it. <laughs> uh, get, let's welcome to the stage our final competitors for this round, uh, Ocho De La Rosa and Trent Kachara. <laughs> All right. Do I need to come up with a new a uh, challenge for who goes first this time? <laughs> I go for third. Go for a third? Okay. Which one of you considers yourself more white? <laughs> Me, probably. Good answer. All right. Take it away. All right. You're kind of like someone who is like abandoned at a Spencer's gift store <laughs> as a baby. <laughs> Trent, you silly little improv man. You look like the kind of guy who cries to get his way in an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. You kind of like if the Ninja Turtles were found by a rat who just really liked to play PS2 <laughs> <laughs> instead of martial arts. <laughs> uh, Trent, your Facebook is one lip smacker's tube away from being a 15-year-old girl's MySpace in the early 2000s because every photo of you is like blue steel duck face just... <laughs> That's You've seen it, you know. <laughs> That's my signature. <laughs> Show it off. There you go. <laughs> October, you are the spirit that would appear if someone said Bloody Mary three times in the bathroom of a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Damn, it's almost unfair that you're not wearing all your rings tonight because usually you look like a living, breathing infinity gauntlet and every JoJo's Bizarre Adventure character at once. <laughs> was that three rounds already? It was a very fast three rounds. Yeah, they were rapid. Damn. Rapid. We're on it. <laughs> what is this? I don't reward efficiency in jokes. That's not my style. Judges, what do we think? Oh, this is almost a coin toss. Yeah, I liked both of them. Yeah. Um, if we could go off of just tattoos. <laughs> uh -oh, but if we go off of cool belt buckles, <laughs> that's how even it is. I think. Uh, wi okay, which is, are jalapenos like really spicy to you? Depends on the jalapeno, but usually yeah, fine. That's, that's, that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. This, this is tough. I don't know. I feel. <laughs> I feel like what you had to say was like just getting some shit off your chest. <laughs> it's a grudge. And, and for you, you, kind of on your heels a little bit, but I mean, that was some expert dodging. Like the <laughs> the every photo is a duck face, and you're like, yeah, it's my signature. What about it? You know, like it just calm and collected and like, choosing, that. choosing not to wear a visually distinctive yeah item yeah that's normally your signature the precognition that's a power move yeah <laughs> there's two battles going on right now dude <laughs> i do i i i i shouldn't uh 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 affect the judging panel i am partially motivated by seeing if it seems like we're going to vote him against him if he will cry and try to change our minds. <laughs> yes <laughs> 
Oh, that is sad. I don't like that at all. Yeah. How do we get it to stop? <laughs> all right. Uh, judges, I think it's time to make it official. Uh, we start on either end, so let's start in the center. James Dean. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Trent. Just short to the point. All right. One for Trent. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with October on this one. One for October. Deciding factor. It's going to be Trent for me. Trent! Oh, sorry. Two to Close. one for Trent. Close. You did well. Oh, redeeming, redeeming white men after the embarrassing loss yeah. of David Cowsgard. Yeah. <laughs> Do the same thing again. Uh, finally, things like things have been set right. Uh, all right, that's been our show. Uh, thank you for watching. I won't be hosting next time, so don't worry about it. But I'll still be wearing this shirt. <laughs> I'm going to look exactly the same.